I just want to say before I start this video, I received over a thousand like comments of everybody saying that they they've been going through anxiety, which is why I chose to do this video to help you guys. You know, you're not alone. For those of you who feel like you're suicidal, for those of you who feel like you're crazy, for those of you who feel like you're misunderstood, your big sis understands. I understand you, which is why I said no. Let me make a separate video to show my bell again, to show all my subscribers that I love you. You're not crazy. You're not alone because I go through it. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because no one would ever know. Who you want? Who you like? Baby, tell me who you love. And last time I checked, it was me, but you bugging. What's going on, Bella Gang? It's your girl, Love and Natural, back at it again with a brand new video. Bella Gang, best friends. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to get rid of anxiety. Now, let me just say, it's not your typical anxiety. For those of you... For those of you who do not know or you probably didn't watch my last video, I was recently diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder. Generalized anxiety disorder is pretty much um, a disorder with, with like a mental disorder with chronic worrying. You worry about everything so much so that it affects you physically. So um, in that video, I was expressing that I went to the hospital um, last Saturday because, you know, I woke up and I felt like I was going to die. My heart was beating on my chest. I was dizzy, disoriented. I didn't know what was going on with me. And when I went to the hospital for the first time, I was able to get a diagnosis. I I experienced this like throughout my life, starting from my teenage years, and it made a lot of sense when I was diagnosed with this because you get diagnosed with this through life trauma and activities, and I've been through a lot of trauma. But you know, I always keep a positive attitude, so I'm thinking like, you know, I was probably just depressed, but it's up to me to get myself up. No, when you have mental disorders, it's something that you can't help. It's almost like, like almost like when you like, like if you're a bipolar person, you can't tell a bipolar bipolar person like calm down with the mood swings. No, it's a chemical. Sorry, it's a chemical imbalance in your brain that causes you to react certain ways. Which is why I said, you know, with people, be a little kind. You never know what battle someone is fighting. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to get rid of your symptoms. This is something. Um, I just want to put a disclaimer out there. Um, anxiety, um, certain mental disorders cannot be cured. There's no cure for us. But the good thing about it is we can manage it. We can control when we get certain episodes. We can control when we're hyperventilating. We can control this. A lot of you guys do not know how to control this. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to control your symptoms so you can live a more normal life. Because let's be honest, we don't live the normal life as other people. When you're diagnosed with something like a mental kind of disorder, it's like... Like I said, it's something that you cannot control. Even to this day, like um, when I feel myself getting anxiety attack or I feel myself like about to pass out, I have, well, I'm going to tell you guys my tricks and tips on, you know, getting over anxiety. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and press the notification bell right next to the subscribe button so that every time I upload this week, you'll be the first one to see it. Thank you guys. I just want to say before I start this video. I received over a thousand like comments of everybody saying that they they've been going through anxiety which is why i chose to do this video to help you guys you know you're not alone for those of you who feel like you're suicidal for those of you who feel like you're crazy for those of you who feel like you're misunderstood your big sis understands i understand you which is why i said no let me make a separate video to show my bell again to show all my subscribers that i love you you're not crazy you're not alone because i go through it you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because no one will ever know I'm going through this because I have so much positivity that I spread on my channel and in real life. You know what I'm saying? This is not a gimmick. I am a good person. But like I said, you know, the devil tried to take me out with this anxiety, but it cannot take me out. And it won't take you out either. Um, in this video, I'm going to tell you guys how to how to just feel a little bit more at ease with your symptoms, with your disorder. You're not crazy. There's nothing really wrong with you. You know mentally like you're not mentally crazy it's a mental disorder it could even be a mental illness but that doesn't take away from the person that you are you know what i'm saying god is not done with you you have a purpose to fulfill so don't give up on life if i'm not giving up you shouldn't give up either period okay and if you guys want me to do more, more mental health videos i'm down for it tell me specifically what you want me to do and i got you um without further ado let's go right into this video this intro is way too long i'm not even gonna pause so let's get started Started. all right um so the first way that you can deal with you know getting rid of your anxiety is the first thing you want to do is take a look at your surroundings and start cutting people off 
start cutting people off and not just anybody when we people with anxiety like me you cannot talk to someone that has like a a chronic worrying problem themselves or they cause you to be more anxious after you, you have spoke to them now i know our mothers probably mean well but i don't know you probably i don't know if you guys can relate but i have this type of mom if let's say for example i could be like mom um i don't know mom i'm like like i'm not making as much money as i was making before or something like that what you're not making as much money uh-uh so then you need to stop you need to stop doing youtube you need to you know work at a bank or something you know maybe move into a, like a basement apartment you know what i'm saying get your life together before you make drastic measures because what do you mean da, da, da. when you have someone that is equally as worried and panicky as you it can literally trigger your anxiety to be worse than when it what when it was before oftentimes we have conversations with people about what we're going through and they literally don't get it so you have to erase those people out of life if they're your family of course you cannot like cut off your family but at least you know mm, let me not tell my sister or my mom or my brother or my uncle or my aunt certain things because i know they're gonna take it to a whole nother level people that you know will take your problems and blow it out of proportion and make you feel even more worried than you should be or, or more worried than you already are those are the type of people that you keep to a minimum okay if you really are suffering guys and you really need somebody to talk to i know this might sound cliche but if but i noticed one thing in my in my in my last video when i was when i told you guys i was diagnosed with my disorder one thing that kept being said over and over sis you got this just pray i have anxiety too just pray just pray just pray over a thousand comments saying the same thing why are we all saying the same thing because it's true and for those of you who do not you know have a, a close relationship with god i will do a separate video on how to get closer to god but god is the only way out i found myself being feeling more anxiety more anxious more paranoid when i finish talking to someone and they don't understand what i'm saying where I'm coming from, they make me feel crazy. They make me feel like, damn, why did I even bring it up? And then, especially if you saw friends and you guys have a fallout, it's like, mm, this bitch is crazy. She's talking about she has this disorder. She's talking about da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? People would talk about you, but God would not talk about you. People would look at you differently, criticize you, you know, distance himself for you. But no, God would draw himself closer to you because he knows that you really need him. When you seek God, he will find you. Even if you don't know how to pray, try. Just get on your knees. Talk like a regular person. Say, God, you know, I've been going through this. I've not I've been going through this um anxiety. I don't know what's going on with me, but I need you to help me get through the day, get through the week, Father God. Help me to bring my anxiety to a minimum so so you know that it's not affecting my daily life. Because if you have general anxiety disorder like I do, it affects your work, your school, your relationships. So maybe you find yourself not having successful relationships with your boyfriend or your girlfriend. That's why it's not even because of you. It's the anxiety. So let's say that, you know, your man is not even cheating on you. Your girlfriend's not even cheating on you. But with our anxiety, even when things are going good, we have a fear of, well, what if they get bored with us one day? What if they just up and leave? That's the kind of thoughts that goes inside a person with anxiety brain, which is why I say, be patient with us because it is something that not only you can't control, but it goes on for six months at a time. That's why I felt like there was something wrong with me terminally. Like I was terminally ill because I would go through months fine. I'm happy. I don't have any type of, you know, like outbursts. I don't, you know, I don't feel like anything's wrong with me physically. I, I'm feeling good. So that's why I used to think that it was depression, not anxiety. But no, anxiety hits you out of the blue and it hits you every six months. You know what I'm saying? Some people with severe anxiety, you can't catch a break. You know, you have muscle pains indefinitely, you know, and that is why I chose to do this video because I really want you to know that there's no physical harm being done to your body you're perfectly fine it's your brain that's making your body you know um go crazy with its functions you know what i'm saying so in order for you to just calm down my number one advice is to seek god and then once you finish speaking to god you're gonna feel lighter you, of course your symptoms is never gonna go away but guess what when you feel your arm is hurting you feel your chest is hurting you get right back on your knees and you pray and you pray and you pray and you pray and guess how much you're gonna and guess what you're gonna feel so much better another thing is 
before you even look to get rid of your anxiety, make sure that it's anxiety that you have and it's not something health problem related. Um, do not diagnose yourself. Don't look at my video and say, oh my God, I have what she has. Because you probably don't. You probably have an even more mild case or you probably don't have it at all. You probably have depression. I don't want you guys to diagnose yourself and follow what I'm doing in this video. The first step to recovering and, and getting rid of your symptoms is first going to the hospital and getting a full blood test, um, get a CAT scan. The doctor's going to ask you a few questions, and then they will determine what you have. And I want you, And one thing that helped me a lot since I've been diagnosed is that I don't fear anymore when I'm... When my heart is racing or my thoughts are like irrational and stuff like that. You know why? Because it's a relief. Now that I know what I'm diagnosed with, I can maneuver. I can help myself better. I don't need to check myself into a hospital. I don't need to talk to someone like, oh my gosh, like something's wrong with me. I can't feel my hands. I know that's a trigger. That's my anxiety being triggered. So I have to calm down. And I like to do breathing exercises. When I'm having like an episode where I feel like, you know, I'm about to pass out, like there's something going on with me. I literally just take a deep breath. Like I said in my last video, it helps you first of all you have to be in absolute like silence you can't calm down in a chaotic environment get yourself into like some solitude like be in your room or something like that after you finish praying and just take really deep breath breathe from deep inside of your stomach like from your diaphragm and slowly breathe out do this about five times you're gonna feel your whole body calm down and we're just you, the thing about anxiety, you have to be one step ahead than your anxiety. You have to trick your brain to believe that you're fine and there's nothing wrong with you. And your body will adapt to that. So if you take really deep breaths, right, and you praying and you constantly... And one thing I have to say about this, this is not going to be an easy road. Because after the prayer, maybe your prayer... After the prayer, you still feel anxiety. After you do breathing exercise, you still feel a little lingering anxiety. The next step is... We have to literally talk to ourselves. Talk to yourself like somebody's talking to you. With me, when I feel like it's unbearable and I can't control it, I literally look at myself in the mirror. Paige, stop. There is nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with you. I know that you're going through something right now, but is it is it really going to happen? Because the thing about anxiety is... We always get anxious about stuff that, that's not even going to happen in real life. 99% of the things that we worry about doesn't come true. But if you have a catastrophic way of thinking, which is like a negative thinking, um, always thinking about something bad, it triggers you to react to that. Um, anxiousness is basically like, let's say if you feel like, let's say if you're in a forest and you see a bear and you get your body tenses up and you feel palpitations. That's what people with anxiety deal with on a daily basis. So that's how severe it is. I know. Don't worry. I know what you're going through, but I'm telling you, you got to talk yourself out of what you're going through in that moment because you can, you can only save your life because guess what? If you don't control these symptoms of anxiety, it can branch off to borderline personality dis disorder, bipo bipolar, and more severe disorders. That's why you have to control it now. If you don't control it now, I promise you, you're just going to go downhill. You want to save your life? This is not going to be easy. I want you guys to take control, starting from today. Take control of your anxiety. Trick your brain to make you feel like, nope. You try, to, you try to bring me down. No, I'm going to have a good day. I'm not going to fill my day in worrying thoughts because that's what anxiety wants you to do. It's just like the devil. The devil never wants you to be happy. Look at your anxiety as a demon that's trying to take, care, take, take, take over your body. You know, you got to fight it off. Sometimes when I get scared about something's wrong with me, I say, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And I worship. I, worship. I put some gospel on and I just worship. Even when I feel like... My body is so weak and I can't really worship and pray. I force myself to because that's the anxiety. The anxiety make you feel like, oh my God, you can't go to work today. You can't go to school today. Just lay down. You are too um, lethargic. You're too um, um, sleepy and fatigued to, to go throughout your day. That's what anxiety does. With me, I thought I was being lazy. No, I literally would... Like I said in my other video, I have trouble getting getting up, put, laying my wigs, um, doing regular things. I would just be so tired. And that's why I thought, no, this has to be cancer, something like that. It's so powerful, anxiety. So when you feel like you're being lazy, get yourself up. 
Go to the gym. That's another thing. Go to the gym, do yoga, meditate. I'm saying to do, do everything that relaxes you. Go get a massage because people with anxiety, we have chronic back pain, chest pain. So treat yourself. It might be a little costly, but we're trying to save your life here. So go to a spa, get a massage. Let me show you something real quick. I have my candle lit like 24 seven. This smells so good. This is mahogany teak wood. I joked around on my Insta story and I said, ladies, wow, it just went off. I said, ladies, um, you need to get you that candle. It smells like a whole guy because it smells like cologne. It's so good. So smells can help relax you, relax your anxiety. Um, it's very important. Always have something burning. Create a a peaceful environment and then you will be more at ease with your symptoms um there was a time actually there was years where i went through always being happy i didn't even know i had anxiety the only time i notice when i'm triggered and when i feel like i'm going crazy is when i'm going through something like either like um like when I'm going through something traumatic, like I said before, I never fully got over, you know, getting jumped so much in high school and having to fight and having, you know, as a young teenager, you don't really know how to process things like you can as an adult. It stays with you. Um, maybe, you know, God forbid you've been raped or something like that. Those type of traumas can alter your thinking, can alter your mind. You know, saying maybe you had a breakup, a breakup, or, you know, maybe you went through a death and I went through like, um, going through, you know, having like an ex pass away from being shot. Um, I had like, like I said, the trauma of being drunk, the trauma of, you know, having to cut off fake friends, having to get cheated on, like stuff like that. You know, some people can just bounce back from it. But when you are a person that, you know, goes through anxiety, it can affect you in a crazy major way and um so if you know this about yourself and you know that you you know you, you know for sure that you're dealing with anxiety and you've been diagnosed with this i'm telling you it works like a charm you have take yourself out of negative environments because that can trigger you okay i noticed that i have to get around from certain people i noticed that it's certain stuff i can tell my mom because she's a, she's a mother mothers worry about their kids but what they but what they fail to know is that when they worry they make us worry even more so certain stuff i just keep to myself you know what i'm saying or i but what i do do and what i feel like you guys should do to get over your anxiety is that you want to surround yourself with friends that's not going to judge you that when you're going through um a depression or anxiety or another attack that they know exactly how to talk to you how to calm you down you need people in your life that's going to calm you down and not trigger you to go you know off that you know off the edge of a cliff somewhere like my friend asia like she so supportive like i love her so much because you know we both go through things and you know some she has anxiety too the way i do but i can it's crazy because she can call me and be like oh my god i feel like anxious about this and i calm her down because i suffer from it but the thing about us people who suffer from anxiety we always know what to say to other people to get through you know what they're going through but it's so hard for us to get through what we're going through isn't it crazy um, but yeah, and it's crazy. It's vice versa. So I can help her and then when I'm having a moment She can help me and guess what we pray like there's no tomorrow for each other Get your friends. I pray for you or sometimes you feel like you just can't pray Call your call that one friend up that's supportive, right? I'm sorry I'm always thirsty Get you a friend that you can call and you can just be like sis Can you pray for me because I'm going through this they don't even have to ask you like, what happened? Just please pray for me. I'm going through it when my anxiety is flaring up again. You know what I'm saying? And they could calm you down. You'd be surprised. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things that my doctor said was, you know, surround your, if you surround yourself with a good support system and you're surrounded by love all the time, then your anxiety is literally going to feel like, wait, what's going on? Why, why, is, why, is it, why isn't she responding to, you know, um, the the anxiety attacks throughout her body like what's going on you know your mind is tricked now to the point where your symptoms are gonna go from like at a, at a level 10 to like a level two or three you know what i'm saying occasionally you might feel a little symptoms here and there like me i know that i love staying home and stuff but that's not good for my anxiety because the more you stay, stay in isolation the more you can trigger yourself to start thinking about stupid things not like irrelevant things i'm talking about like 
oh my god global warming we could literally die from that oh my gosh like um I need to be married by 30. Stuff like you know you can't control at this very moment, that's what we think about. So when you buy yourself, all you're going to do is think about what you don't have, what you need to be doing with your life. Oh, I need to get my life together. You're going to end up being not happy. And then guess what? You're going to find yourself being checked into the hospital because you had an extreme severe anxiety attack. I mean, you feel like you almost had a heart attack and a stroke, like what I went through. And what I went through on Saturday, I don't want you guys to experience it because that shit is scary. It's crazy. You feel like you don't even want to live because, you know, anxiety is something that, like I said, there's no cure for it. So you have to cure yourself by doing certain activity that's going to alleviate your, your symptoms. So I just want to go through it, go through everything with you guys real quick. Number one, pray to God. Pray your ass off. I'm telling you, pray, pray, pray. After you pray, do breathing exercises. After breathing exercises, um, stay out of the house. Stay out of solitude. Stop being isolated. The more you isolate yourself, the more you're going to be getting anxious and you're going to have negative thoughts and negative thinking. So surround yourself with family. That's number four. Surround yourself with family and love. You know, surround yourself with people that really love you, that really care about you, that care about your well-being. That's not going to judge you. And then finally, get, get um, do things physically that will cause your body to physically relax and be at peace. So get massages, go to the spa, get a facial, get your... Even sometimes I get my feet done, it feels good because I, I, I get to be in the chair, the massage chair, and, you know, I get to relax, read a book, maybe write, write um, take a journal, write out your feelings. Um, stay off social media because social media can drive you to be have anxiety and depression because... You go on social media and you see that it's like everybody got they, they life together and everybody's life is so perfect. And it makes you feel like, damn, why am I feeling this way? Why am I feeling so sad? Because I go on Instagram and it seems like everybody's happy. Everybody got nice bodies. Everybody got a man. I don't got this. I don't got that. And it makes you feel jealous like, oh, I need this. I need that. But that's your mind tricking you again. You need to get control of your anxiety and how you're going to take control if, like I said, you're... A lot of your time is being spent wishing you had what someone else had. And you know what I'm saying? And you might feel like, well, I don't be, I'm don't i not jealous of anybody. You'd be surprised. Subconsciously, your mind might trigger you to feel like, damn, um, my life, I really need to get my life together because look at such and such. You know, I know myself, I go on Instagram sometimes and I'm like, damn, I should be doing more with my music and stuff. You know, I'm trying to get, and it's just like a never ending cycle of, what, what you need to be doing. No, what you need to be doing is controlling your anxiety. Control it in this way, and I promise you, your symptoms will be almost obsolete. Like, it's going to be almost deleted, okay? And this is something that you got to practice on a daily. You got to fight for your life. You got to fight this anxiety off of you. Because think about it. Once upon a time, we never had this anxiety. We never had it. Even though doctors say that we can't be cured, I feel like we could be cured in the name of Jesus. I feel like we can be cured. We just got to keep... With, keep on with these exercises, keep moving forward, keep praying, keep, you know, doing things that's going to cause us to have more peace in our life and not chaos. I noticed when I was in a chaotic situation or um, a toxic relationship where he blamed me for everything, never took ownership, cheated on me, that has a, that had a negative effect on my life. And to this day, it's like, it takes me a long time to get over situations and now I see it's because of the anxiety. Don't let anybody take control of your life to the point where you are going through an anxiety attack because of someone else. No. And I told myself, I'm never going to do that again. I'm never going to be with somebody that's going to make me feel bad about myself or insecure. And you shouldn't either. There's way too many guys in, in, in this world. And, you know, God is going to send you our king. But we cannot just, you know, make a guy our boyfriend and, you know, think that God is going to bless our relationship that we have no business being in. But that's relationships. I'm going to save that for another video because you guys know my girl talk to me intense with these guys now. But I hope this video can help you deal with your anxiety. Um, I'm trying to think if I left anything out. Oh, and definitely aromatherapy. When you smell certain aromas, it takes you into a really peaceful place. Also, YouTube. Go to YouTube. Before you go to sleep, look up calming sounds like ocean sounds, birds, the forest. And they have three hour, six hour, non-stop, no non-stop breaks. Um, and it will ease your mind. So it'll help you to sleep better. Do things that's gonna make you feel more peaceful. That's the bottom line. That's how you get rid of really bad anxiety. And ever since I've been practicing that, I feel great. And the fact that I know I'm diagnosed with something, 
that is not terminally ill. I know that when my wrist hurts or my leg hurts really bad, there's nothing to be worried about. It's just my anxiety, you know, working again. And, you know, if it's really bad, maybe take painkillers. Don't take um, Xanax, all those stuff that they provide for us because it can make us be even worse than where we started. So I don't recommend taking um, heavy drugs, you know, heavy pain medication to, you know, alleviate what we're going through because it can make you worse. That's something I'm scared about. I don't want something that's altering my personality and you shouldn't either, you know. You know, I want you to stay the, as much as yourself as possible. And with that being said, I'm just going to end this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. I love you guys so much and um, I'm praying for you. In Jesus Christ's name, you are healed in the name of Jesus. I believe so. And if you believe that you're healed, say it, believe it, and God will heal you. I promise you. I'm praying for you guys. I love you. And until next time, Bella Gang, love you.